Hello and welcome to my first tutorial in a long time of setting up PHP locally and editing um, your first kind of PHP website. Um, I'm going to run through um, first of all how to set up um, a website and get it running locally on your Mac. And you can find um, the course um, content or instructions on my GitHub page. Uh, along with the full solution um, in the site folder. So, setting up local environment. This guide is specific to Mac. I recommend using an Atom editor or Sublime. Um, I used to use Sublime all the time, and then uh, when I started my new job, someone introduced me to Atom. Uh, either or, ed both editors are pretty cool. You can use them to edit kind of any any file, any language, which is great. The Emmet plugin is really useful for HTML and when I'm editing HTML really quickly you'll see that later on. So the first thing to do is to set up a web address on your computer which will route to your local local host which is 127.0.0.1 and the example I used here was mydomain.dev you can use whatever you like, by convention it's good to use .dev so you know it's a local thing and not .com, .co.uk so I'm going to do this first, so ed I need to edit my ETC hosts and vi, uh, VI is a Vim editor, it's like a, a Unix editor through the terminal. Um, you could actually use Atom or anything you want there but the location of the file is at Setra host. So, so if I go to VI Setra hosts, okay so I've got my host file and you can see I've already got localhost which is pointing to 127.0.0.1 um, I want to add a new one in so I'm going to use my arrow keys to the bottom of the file press insert uh, which is I and I say changing a read only file now you have to sudo or access this file as root to edit it so I'm going to quit out of this uh, and then sudo vi etc hosts and try again so 127.0.0.1 and I'm going to call it timpson.dev it could be whatever you like I'm going to save that and come back over here and go to timpson.dev and you'll see, you should see it works and that means it is pointing to your local host now the next step is to set up your virtual host and this will effectively point that domain to a directory on your computer um, so what we're going to do is edit the virtual host file and we can do that by simply copying this line here we'll should open it up in Vim and we want to copy this line in here into it which will set up our virtual host now the server name will be timpson.dev and the document route will be the location to where I want my website. I'm just going to grab that now. It's going to be here. It's going to be wherever you'd like it to be. And I need to replace that for the directory as well. And then I'm going to save that. And the last thing you need to do is restart Apache with this line here. Cool. So if we try again, oh, we see something different. Index of forward slash. Now that is pointing to this directory here. Now, in that directory, I just have an empty folder at the moment, so we don't really see any files in there. We don't see any web pages or anything. Now what I can do is create a file called web.html and on here I'll just put a header saying hello. Now I'll come back to my website and I'll refresh and you can see this web.html in here because we can currently see the folder. Um, this is pointed to the folder and now we can see the web.html. If we click on that it takes us to forward slash web.html and we see the header of hello. Now 
if you see most websites, you'll see they don't have this like .html all the time. They normally just have something like forward slash web. Or really, if you want to go to the home, you just go to that. Now, we have this special thing called index. So if I rename my web HTML folder file to index.html and save that and come back and refresh, it takes us straight to that file without having to do forward slash dot index dot html now this is great if we're building a static website however in most cases we want some kind of a rendering to happen some dynamic things to happen and the way we do that is with php so html is um, sort of delivered to the browser and the, uh, the browser reads html and that's how um, we how we view things however php can kind of dynamically create um, html so HTML is a static thing and PHP is a dynamic thing so it can do things, it can print things out, print HTML based on different scenarios. So say someone's logged in, we'd want to show them their profile rather than a static profile which is the same for everyone. So instead of doing index.html we want to rename this to index.php which will enable us to start writing PHP code. Now. It's important to note that you can just write plain HTML in here and it'll work. So if I go back over here, refresh, we get exactly the same, hello. Um, so what we want to do is start writing HTML in here. And we can just, because I, I said we um, can use PHP to print out HTML, what we can do is open our PHP tag here and type in echo and our HTML tag, save that, come back over here, refresh and we get exactly the same thing. Um, it's worth noting in um, Chrome that we can do command alt u to view source. Um, we can see the, uh, the full source of the tags in which is very useful and this is how PHP is printing it. And we can also do command alt i which bins in the um, inspection tool and then we can inspect different HTML elements when we sort of hover over them. That's also very useful. Now, what we're going to talk about um, is our structure of our PHP site. So, we're going to create some new folders. Our first folder we're going to create is called Assets. This will contain things such as images, PDF documents, or anything else you'd like to serve up. It's kind of um, that's not like a PHP site, uh, page or HTML page or some JavaScript it's kind of static assets that you want. The next folder is CSS. So this is where your styling is going to be stored. Um, we're going to just create one file called style.css. It's kind of the convention to have um, sort of all of your styling in one style sheet so that the browser doesn't have to load up multiple styles, uh, style pages. And we're going to create a folder called lib. Now lib is going to store any PHP functions or libraries um, and we're going to access them through PHP but we're not going to allow access to the browser to these things so it's going to be like a private folder. And the last folder we're going to create is called Views, or we could call it Templates. And it will contain the different kind of HTML slash PHP pages, such as Home, About Page, 404 Page. So they're the different folders we're going to create. Now, this is a bit boring, this echo hello h1 tag. So let's change this for the Bootstrap templates, uh, Bootstrap starter template. So I'm just going to go over here and search for bootstrap starter template and the first link should be it. So I'm going to view the source of this page and just grab it all and paste it into my index.php. This could actually just be an index.html right now. I'm going to save that and I'm going to come back over here and it should look the same as this now so I'm going to refresh and Oh, that doesn't look very nice. So what's going on here? Now we can use Command Alt I and go to the console, and we see that we've got all these fail to load, so, fail to load resource 404 not found. 
on the on some CSS and JS and all these things. If we come back over here, you can see that the bootstrap.min.css is being referenced dynamically. This has got dot dot forward slash dot dot. And what this means is it's going to go back two folders, so back from to, into examples, then back to the root directory, which is getbootstrap.com, and then it's referencing distribution CSS bootstrap.min.css. So if we copy this part here and paste it after here, it's trying to grab this CSS file. Now, um, you can use references um, to grab CSS files. The other way is you can put in the full domain, so it would be like this. And because this is hosted dynamically, we're going to have to do this for now. But say we wanted, say it was in our root, so timpson.dev forward slash dist.css, what we could do is just get rid of this part here. So that means the root folder, then distribution CSS. But since it's in um, at Bootstrap, we're going to just reference that for now, just to get started. So we'll come back to this, and I'm just going to command D for all the selections of the dot dot forward slash, and paste in this instead, and save that, and then come back over here, and refresh. And we're almost there, but we're getting a cannot find starter template.css. Now, this is because it's looking for starter template.css inside of the site folder. And our, we want our CSS to be located inside CSS forward slash style.css. So we can change this to CSS forward slash style. Dot CSS, and we also want to grab that um, CSS that was inside starter template. So we can do that by going over to the Bootstrap um, source, and then view the starter template .css and copy this into our style .css page, and save. Now we can close these. We don't need them anymore, and we refresh our web page and now it is nicely displayed and we don't have any errors in our console anymore. Okay so that's it for part one. We've got our basic PHP website set up and we've got our bootstrap template rendering. Stay tuned for part two where we will set up our Apache HT access file and do some more advanced PHP including routing to different pages. Thanks for watching.